I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test papers. This one is from IB senior level maths on normal distribution. The question here is a machine produces bolts with diameter normally distributed with a mean of 4 millimeter and a standard deviation of 0.25 millimeter. Bolts are measured accurately and any which are smaller than 3.5 millimeter or larger than 4.5 millimeter are rejected. Out of a batch of 500 bolts, how many would be accepted? That's the question for you. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. So let's read the question once again. It says a machine produces bolts with diameter normally distributed that means we are talking about normal distribution where mean is 4 and standard deviation is 0 0.25 right so, so that is how we write variance bolts are measured accurately in any which are smaller than 3.5 so so we look for probability for those which are less than 3.5 or we look for probability for those which are larger than 4.5 millimeter are rejected. So these are rejected. Now out of a batch of 500, so we have a batch n equals to 500. We are interested in finding how many are accepted, right? So we are trying to find how many are accepted. So that's the real question. Okay. Now let's try to understand the normal distribution curve for the given situation, right? So let's say uh, that is the possible values which our random variable can take. And let's say this is the normal graph which we'll be working on. So it has kind of a peak here as shown. Now this peak will be at the mean which is, which is 4 and these uh, change in curvature wherever point of inflections are there uh, these are 0.25 aware so we'll write this as 3.75 and 4.25 correct so 0.25 away let's say these are the other two points so one standard division away now we are rejecting all those which are on left side of 3.5 so let's say 3.5 is kind of here Okay, and 2.5 is kind of here, let's say, okay. So I'll just shade this portion. We want to reject this. Everything in between is accepted. That's the question. And from a lot of 500, how many will be accepted? That is what you need to find. I hope it's absolutely clear. Now from the symmetry, we can see that both areas are exactly same. Since normal graph is symmetric about 4, right? So we know these things are both equal, right? So, so we can say that rejected is 2 times probability of x less than 3.5, right? Is that very clear to you? So instead of trying to find both of them from the symmetry, we know just twice this, okay? Now to find that, probability we have a probability density curve we can convert this to z values so z values will be take away the mean which is 4 divided by standard deviation which is 0 0.25 is that okay so that gives you uh, twice the probability with uh, z which is less than so if you calculate this let's use a calculator right so it is uh, uh, 3.5 minus 4 divided by 0.25 equals 2 minus 2, right? So minus 2. Now to find this probability, we can use standard normal distribution tables, which are there in your book. You can use the calculator. So I have given, I have a printed copy here. Uh, we are looking for z less than minus 2. So let's look for z less than minus 2. That's the value. So it is... Uh, I hope you can see it, 0 0.02275, right, 0 0.02275, so this value is 0 
seven five. We have to multiply this by two, right? Two times, since both are rejected, right? So these are the two things which we are calculating. That's a rejected. That's also rejected. So that is how we, get. we are multiplying by two. So let's multiply this by two. So we get point zero two two seven five times two gives us a decimal value as equals to zero point zero four. So that is the probability of rejection. Is that okay? Now, how many will be accepted? So, so the idea is to find how many will be accepted. So, accepted probability will be one minus this number, 0 0.0455, and that is equals to. So, we'll do one minus 0 0.0455, right? And this is equals to. Uh, 0 0.9545, right? So that is in person, 0.9545, right? 95.45 percent will be accepted. Does it make sense to you? It's a very large number, right? Uh, of course, it does make a sense because uh, if you check this, it is two sigma away. So these points are actually speaking, these points, <coughs> these points are two sigma away, so this is like uh, from the mean, it is twice sigma, do you see that? So two sigma away these points are. One sigma gives you about 68% and two sigma is about 95% and that is what we get, right? So, so that is two sigma away, right? That gives you a hint that your answer is kind of right, okay? Now, the batch is of 500 volts. So five out of 500, how many? So accepted <coughs> out of 500 bolts, right? So we have 500 bolts production, right? So out of them, how many will be accepted? So there'll be uh, 500, let me write 500 times 0 0.9545, okay? So that will be the total number accepted out of 500. So we already have the number here. We'll multiply by 500 to get <coughs> it says 477.25 right so we'll say uh, 477 right probabilities are always estimated so 477 will be accepted out of 500 in our case correct right? so that is the answer so total number of bolts which are accepted will be 477 I'm Anil Kumar and I hope you understand the concepts. So in this particular case, we first understood the situation by making a small sketch. That is important. From the sketch itself, it's kind of clear that we are going to get around 95% as our solution because those two points are two sigma away, right? That's very important to understand and the calculations showed the same result. So random variable was turned into the Z so that we could utilize the standardized tables to find the values. So that is in short the method to solve such questions. I hope that's absolutely clear. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.